now joining us from the comfort of his own home. The man who'll be calling the action at the AAC next Sunday, the play-by-play -play voice of the Dallas Stars, that would be Mr. Ralph Strangis. Good evening, Ralphie. How are you, babe? I'm doing well, thank you. I just want you to know, everybody else, we've had everyone from Mike Madonna to Roger Staubach to President Bush, they come into the studio. But for you, Ralph, we send the truck out to your home. We want to make it as comfortable as possible for you. Well, I want you to know, too, babe, you're always welcome in my home. <laughs> I've never been invited. I don't hey, know where hey, you live. Anytime, anytime you want to come by, um, <laughs> I'll find the, I'll mail you the address. All right, you, be yeah. you be careful, because I'll be coming by. All right, hey, you All saw right. Steve Dennis' story there, Ralph. In your opinion... Who is in the crosshairs this year? I think Daryl Ray. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, he's uh, he sort of positions himself as the smartest guy in the room, and so if anything goes wrong, I think we can throw all the blame at him. Right. Uh, I, you know, uh, this is really, and it's going to sound trite, and it's going to sound maybe clicheish and stupid, but I really believe that this is a group and a team, and that they're going to win together or that they're going to lose together. And, you know, Marty was not great in the playoffs last year, but he certainly wasn't the only one. Uh, and, you know, it's, uh, they've done so many things well in the last few seasons and so many things poorly. And this year they've done more good than bad. And I think all the way from Doug Armstrong acquiring Mike Ribeiro, who became the team's scoring leader with all the injuries and that, and then Matthias Nordstrom at the trade deadline, and Ladislav Nagy, uh, to Dave Tippett and the job he's done coaching this year. He's on my ballot. The broadcasters get to vote on that for the Jack Adams Trophy and the Coach of the Year. Uh, to the players on the ice, uh, they have another 50-win season despite 300-man games lost to injuries. So uh, I'm not trying to think about what happens when they collapse uh, because I, I, you know, I, I don't think that the story's been written, and I, I don't think we know how this is going to end yet. And I think anybody that said that they had Carolina and Edmonton in the Stanley Cup final last year or that Tony Romo would blow a snap uh, for an extra point or whatever it was, you know, amounted right. to an extra point, um, you know, is crazy. I mean, you, you just don't know what's going to happen going forward. All right, Ralph, you mentioned Marty Turco, and obviously we have a little, I don't want to call it a goaltending controversy just yet. We'll see how Turco plays. But I want you to listen, if you will, to Dave Tippett. He spoke earlier in the week about what might happen if Marty Turco should struggle. Marty is, uh, uh, hasn't played uh, a ton where you'd, you'd say he's been overplayed going in the playoffs so he's fresh and I think Mike Smith has proved that he's ready to play and uh, that's a good scenario for us. If Coach Tippett decides to play the other goalie in a game in a postseason you'd be okay with that? Nah, uh, we'll worry about that when that time comes. All right, Ralphie, your thoughts? Well, I like Marty's answer. Marty's sort of saying without saying it, you know what, that's my net and I'm not and I don't know that that's going to happen. Um, and I think Dave Tippett and the team are now finally in a position where they have a lot of faith and trust in the other guy. And Johan Hedberg had a very good year last season, but I don't know that they felt that, that he was going to be able to go in and turn the series around. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't believe that there'll be any other goalie than, than Marty Turco uh, in the playoffs this year for the Dallas Stars. I, I really don't. I think the leash is longer than most people expect it will be, and I think he will earn that. Uh, against Roberto Luongo. Now, people, you know, Vancouver doesn't immediately excite everyone here in town because people are saying, well, who, you know, who are the Vancouver Canucks? But I'll tell you, about a week from now, you're going to be going, oh my goodness, is that Roberto Luongo good? Um, <laughs> and so the, the, it's going to be a, a straight matchup. I, I mean, you know, you take all the other things out of it. Uh, Turco against Luongo is, is really how this thing is going to come down. They played four 2-1 games this season. Uh, the stats among the teams are almost virtually identical in terms of uh, their record goals allows and goals for it, and, and it's just going to be, you know, which goaltender will win. And I, like I say, I, I think this might be the year for Marty. All right. Ralph, thank you very much. We appreciate your time this evening. We'll see if you're right. <laughs> yeah, well, well hey, th thank you, babe, and come by anytime. Thank you, sir. All right. Hey.